Yo, what's happening, guys? This is Flo, and I'm here with Sly, and today we're going to discuss RJ, Richard Jefferson's comments about Russell Westbrook. So RJ goes on to say this about the Lakers. The fact that we asked Russ to do something he's never done in his Hall of Fame career and then criticize him, I think that shows the disarray from the front office. All right, Sly, what do you think about these comments? Well, he is uh, kind of right, but he was right about the wrong point. The fact that we're asking Russell Westbrook to do something he's never won, and that's win a championship. That's what's wrong. This guy is a loser. He loses all the time, man, and we're expecting him to win? That is on management's fault. I, I agree 100%. That is management's fault because this guy couldn't win at UCLA, couldn't win in high school, couldn't win the NBA, so we're expecting something different? No, that's management's fault right there because the writing was on the wall. I saw it a long time ago. I seen it him out of high school, college. This guy is a crazy ass, reckless ball. You never saw that with the Lakers. You never saw a reckless guy in the dynasty team with the Lakers. You never saw that with the Bulls, a reckless player like that. You you never saw that with the old Lakers teams. This guy is just a headache, and they expected something else to come from it. What did you expect? The guy, eight times, was either first or second in turnovers. Did you think he was going to change? So, like I said, he's defending Westbrook, what he did, but I'm saying it from a different perspective. We knew what we had with him. We've seen it before, and, you know, it backfired. We got an egg on our head. Uh, Palinka, egg on his face. <laughs> LeBron, egg on his face, and it sucks, man. Um, I agree with RJ's comments, um, especially about the management. I feel just the last few seasons, they've kind of just tried to throw things against the wall and hope things stick. They haven't really looked into like the whole reason why you build a team, what players you put around each other. It's kind of just throwing things together and hoping it mixes well. They're trying to make like a soup or something, you know? And that's not the way to approach it. You got to see pieces that complement one another. That is what a team does. They complement each other. And I feel... Westbrook, it was a lot of uh, the issues were on him. It was kind of his fault, so I'm not going to give him a complete pass. But it just, he was set up to not really succeed just by the players we had around him. But I'm not giving him the ultimate like pass because he was selfish. He didn't really want to adjust his game. And he just was kind of bashing his teammates throughout the season. At least that's what's coming out now. They're saying that he never really bought into the system, bought into um, the organization their uh, image you know so i don't like that yeah it's just it's just i don't know i just don't get what the heck they were thinking rob palinka lebron james because let's be real man i think lebron james is the greatest basketball player of all time but that's not the narrative that it that's out there it's M michael jordan you know and this right here was huge mistake picking up westbrook just because he's your buddy you think he still has it? no man that was a mistake like i said it's on their fault it's their fault before picking this guy up i mean they fell, they fell for it, and <laughs> I mean, we knew something was wrong when Westbrook came with a dress. Let's be real. <laughs> he came with a dress, man. What did you think was going to happen? So, I don't like it, man. I knew the writing was on the wall at the beginning of the season, what was going to happen. So, yeah, I do blame management, but I don't blame it. I blame them for not knowing what Russell, Russell Westbrook is, man. I'm sorry. All right, guys. Well, let us know what you guys think about RJ's comments. Do you agree, disagree? Let us know in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.